Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. I'm photographer and cinematographer Drew Geraci, and today is really special because we're talking about creating AI generated imagery using the new Midjourney application that's inside of the Discord channel. Um, what's really cool about this thing is basically it comes up with imagery out of thin air. So if you're thinking about an idea, if you're thinking about, you know, uh, a really beautiful scene that you want to create, you can literally type out what you think that image is going to be. And this program is basically going to generate it for you. Um, and it's by far one of the coolest pre-visualization programs I've ever seen. Now it's in beta form. It doesn't really have an actual UI or program um, per se, and you're actually using a Discord channel. And I can't show you what that looks like, but what I can tell you is how it works and how it works is probably one of the coolest and probably one of the weirdest things I've ever done. Um, especially as a photographer and cinematographer, we're used to doing a lot of things visually. And when you're creating these types of work, what you're doing is you're going in and you're actually using language to create the imagery. Um, so I think for a lot of us, especially if you are um, vocal in the community when it comes to coming up with really cool um, and descriptive titles, this is gonna be an incredible tool to really help you pre-visualize your scenes. And I can really see this being utilized in a lot of different programs from story board programs um, to previs programs to just basically if you have an idea and you want to see what it could look like this program does that and I have to say I'm really blown away by just what the kind of an imagery that comes from this because it's not just like crappy imagery it's like actually beautiful artwork created by the computer and the more detail that you give it the more detail you can actually see in the project so let's dive in i'm going to show you some of the things that i've made some of the lessons that i've learned along the way um, and really it's only been out for about a month and a half or so and it's already probably one of the coolest programs out there now to get into the mid journey program you have to be invited first so it does take a little bit of uh, effort to get in there and every person that subscribes gets three invites and those people then can invite people if they subscribe as well so it's kind of like this trickle down community um, i think there's around 10,000 people um, already in the beta right now and i hope to see a lot more than that because it is such a fun creative tool and if you are fortunate enough to get an invite to use that creative tool you'll have to learn how to create using only words here are a few of my favorite creations including the words that are used for the prompt so that you can see how i got the imagery when you're creating your prompt, there are many different variables to consider. Since the AI pulls information directly from Google and other online search engines, you should type out and write the way you would if you were searching for an image. Be direct and to the point. Your first sentence should contain the meat and potatoes of what you want to create. Then you can use a comma to go into the detail for that specific scene. Use terminology that would be searchable, such as twisted metal, reflective glass, stained glass, tree bark, puffy white clouds, modern architecture, and so forth. You can use other descriptors like in the style of and then choose your favorite artist or painter. Or if you like a particular movie, you can add that as a descriptor at the end as well. If you want to create more high definition imagery, use the words high definition, 4K, 8K, detail, texture, and so forth. If you want to change the aspect ratio, simply add two dash marks and the letter AR followed by aspect ratio that you want. The most common is 16 by 9. The possibilities are absolutely endless.
Anyway, guys, I'm really excited about the future. I mean, who knows what's gonna happen? Will photography even exist in five years? Because the imagery that comes out of this program is just absolutely bonkers. Uh, and for 30 bucks a month, it's probably one of the best subscription plans um, that I can say is it's great for any creative out there. Um, especially if you're in a creative rut, this is a great opportunity for you to express how you're feeling, to show how you're feeling, let the computer come up with the imagery itself and come up with some really cool and interesting things. Ah, it's so exciting. So anyway, if there's anything that you guys want to learn more about, I'm always learning myself. So I'm putting in new prompts. I'm using this every day. Um, and I've really learned how to dial things in and really get the look and the feel that I want. But if you guys have any questions, just put them down below in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them as soon as possible. Uh, and as always, if you like what you saw, please like, subscribe, and happy shooting. Have a great day.